Mitch. Everyone, make way. Did you really kill the queen? The mariner said you did. Don't pester her, Debbie. Of course she did. Now this is what a badass looks like. I fear we had you all wrong. Well, Captain Avery didn't. Right. Holier than thou Avery got the right of it. And thanks for reminding me. Here's a round on the house. What's your beef with Avery? Avery was born on the island, but she left for a good long spell. Didn't come back until, well, 10, 11 years ago? And since then, she's been trying to make us adopt all sorts of mainland nonsense. I ain't arguing she doesn't do good, or her heart being in the right place, but why change what ain't broke? That's awfully friendly of you. We have mainlanders coming in and out all the time. Worst of a lot are thieves or murderers. And the others we find floating face down in the harbor. But not you. Mitch, I mean, since you did the captain's dance, maybe your uncle? That's my own family business. Ma'am, Mitch is too damn proud. But we're worried about Uncle Ken. What's wrong with his uncle? Uncle Ken's the last one still living on the island. The last holdout. Crazier than a bag full of starved mole rats he is. Mitch sent him some of the fog condensers? So he might still be alive. He's safe from the fog. But the campground's got to be swarming with God knows what. Listen, it shames me to ask it. Oh, but he is my kin. Could you check up on him? And find some way to drag his hide back here. I'll pay, of course. What if he won't come back? Well, then at least check up on him, right? I'll pay the same regardless. The island's dangerous. My services won't come cheap. <sighs> if you look into it, I can throw some supplies in to help in the fog. The plank ain't exactly flush with caps. I'll look for your uncle. His homestead's the old visitor's center, inland. And look out, he loves his traps. This'll be Ken's residence. Lived here all his life. Even after the fog swallowed up the park. Hey there. Go away! You see? You see those corpses? They're from me! Unless you're ready for the long walk. Go away! You killed all of these? By yourself? What? Just because I'm an old man, you don't think I can protect myself? Wrong! Your nephew's worried about you. He sent me. Mitch? My boy Mitch sent you? He was always a smart one. He sent me the fog condensers. Made it safe to breathe here. Glad to hear he still cares about his old uncle. But you... What? What have you done? They're coming! They're coming! What? What's coming? Who knows this time? I haven't reset my traps or repaired the defenses. Quick, do what you can with the workbench supplies. They'll be here soon.
realize what a mistake you made. Not bad. Mitch was a good boy to send you. But still, time to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before you attract more of them. Why would you possibly stay here? It's dangerous. My family's lived here for seven generations. I will not disrespect their memory. Now go! Mitch sent me to bring you home. Safely. Please, go to Far Harbor. This is my home! And what? You want me to huddle like a beggar in Far Harbor? I... I can't just leave. You have living family that cares about you. Are you just gonna turn your back on him? I am an old man. I just want to live out my days on my land. You wouldn't understand. How about this? I'm not asking you, old man. I'm dragging you back. Oh, fine. Threaten an old man. Big shot. I'll go back. You have my My boy! She actually did it. Did what? Chase me from my home? You should dump her in the harbor. You're really not grateful? You get to see your boy again. Ah, it is good to see family again. He never visits or writes. Here. I... I... Mitch is at a loss for words. Hush now. I owe you one. I, for one, won't go down unless I'm roaring drunk. <laughs> it's your funeral, then. Good. I'll be the only one in attendance. Now go! Uncle Ken's lived on his own for a long spell. He's... got color. I found Uncle Ken. He's still alive, but... he won't come back. That... that's cause for celebration. We were worried about him. He really is all right. Do you think he's safe? Can we do anything to help him out? If he's still clinging on, I might be able to convince a few locals to head his way. And with a few more guns by his side... Here. I... I... Mitch is at a loss for words. Hush now. I owe you one. How can the last plank set you up? 